All right, family, so the driveway was power washed and it looks so good. Look how pretty this looks. It looks nice and clean. We have to put new mulch up on the um, on top of the old ones, but wow, it looks so beautiful. It looks so good. Okay, let's come in here and see what it looks like in here. All right, family, so the electric is finally on. Let me show you the shower door that I was telling you about. This is the primary um, bedroom shower. This door is shattered or shattered when the tenants were here. So see how this handle goes like this? There was another one here that go like that and you can open it both ways. That's Miss Nadia. And so what ended up happening was this broke. So now we have to um, we have to change the entire thing. The entire thing has to be changed. So we have to go to the store and grab, um, and grab the new shower door to change that. And that is why I was telling you guys I needed a contractor to come and do that. But I do love the bathrooms in this house. They are all custom and they're very nicely um, put together. Look at that tile work. I love the dark tile. It has beautiful tire work up there. And then it has these pockets for your soap and um, other things. And then the floor has some tire work as well. So I really, really like it. And um, the doors were really nice. I don't know if we're gonna find something as nice, but we're gonna try. The sink vanity area, very nice as well. It has the same tile work, um, backsplash, that beautiful light. This was always like this when I lived here. Whoever installed the light, that was done first. And then that, the light was put on. So <laughs> they didn't center it. They should have centered it. But anyway, that's what that looks like. Um, as far as the paint, there are a few paint jobs. The house itself is pretty nice as far as the paint. But there are a few places that needs to be um, touched up like right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of the paint here. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna grab a piece and go try to match it. Go try to match this at Lowe's or Home Depot. That's a better piece. And then the rooms are not as dark anymore <laughs> because the electric is back on. But again, these need to be put back up. Those need to be put back up. They need to be cleaned up. The walls need to be a little painted. Um, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> and then this bathroom. This is the hall bath. Again, the electric is on so you can see it a little better. But see how nice this looks? This is what I was trying to tell you all before. The bathrooms are really, really nice. They did a great job. Um, again, this used to be actually my favorite bathroom. It's small, but it's so cute. And then it has those um, same tile work, the little pockets there. Um, this one is a shower tub combination. And then let me show you guys the lighting. I actually changed these. These had um, generic lighting. This is the upstairs. This is the view from the upstairs. It's a two-story foyer. So when you come in, come in from down there, this is what you see. And it's really, really nice. This light I got from Wayfair, the chandelier. It's very, very nice and it extends from all the way up there. And look at it, look how pretty that is. Okay. And um, this is the other chandelier. Remember when I told you it was a chandelier? So it's a fan and a chandelier at the same time. So you can choose to only use the light or you can put the light and the fan on. Um, a better view of the living room, living room, dining room. Such a cute house. I really, really like this house. I kind of miss it here. <laughs> it's a small but luxury, luxurious looking house. Um, yeah, I like that. Again, the kitchen, the door is open. Miss Nadia is running all over the place. Hi. Hi, baby. <laughs> Again, a better view of the kitchen here. Let me see. I forget what the switch for this light is. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there it is. There's the switch. So this is the island. This is actually movable. They switched it this way because I guess that's how they wanted it. But it's actually supposed to go this way, which makes sense with the island light or the pendant lights. All right, so we're gonna switch this back over. That's how that looks. So the island is supposed to go this way, not that way because of the lights there. All right, so with that said, let me show you guys the laundry room that I was telling you about. This is the laundry room. It's pretty big. You can fit your washer dryer combination in here. Um, it's a pretty spacious room. Some storage up there, washer dryer hookup. That's the garage door. And this is the, um, what's it called? Half bath. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> One of the things that needs to be painted and refinished is this deck. As far as the sturdiness of it, it's still pretty good, but it just needs to be refreshed a little bit. So my contractor um, is going to do that as well. So I, I need to get a picture of the siding because I want to match the deck with the siding and it's pretty dark. So I'm hoping that we can get a color that matches or something lighter um yeah but this is what the deck looks like for now until Mommy. it's fixed yes baby Mommy. yes baby Mommy. you going down <laughs> titi was really young when we lived here she was about one she was from i think eight months to almost two years old yeah from eight months to two years old so her first birthday was celebrated here her second birthday was celebrated here as well and then we moved <laughs> come on baby let's go we gotta go uh, i'm on my way to a shower door this is like a liquidation store i don't know if that's what they're really called but it's like a store where they have all kinds of things in there um so i'm just going there to see if they have a shower door i did meet with a contractor who told me that he could do a lot of the stuff that needs to be done in the house and so i um he gave me the measurements for the shower door and he also gave me the paint color that we were going to need you know to paint the place and so i'm on my way to that store i'm gonna go look for the shower door hopefully it's there hopefully hopefully and if i can find it he's able to install it by this weekend which means I can get my cleaners to come in because I want to do all of the, the maintenance work that needs done, all of the little repairs and stuff. I want to get that done first before I get the cleaners to come and just like do the finishing touches. And then I can start doing, um, I can start doing showings. A lot of people are asking me why am I not just like putting this on Airbnb as well because Airbnb is a little more lucrative than the long-term rental. The reason for that is that this property is actually in a residential area, kind of like my Airbnb really. And I'm really shocked that I'm having the amount of success that I'm having with the Airbnb because this is not in a tourist part of town. It's in a residential neighborhood. And so the, the only people who come there are people who come to visit their family or maybe like travel nurses and insurance agents and things of that nature. And so this other one is also in a residential area. Remember it was my first home. I lived there for a while and I moved out and that's how it became a rental property. And so the reason for that is I don't wanna have to worry about if I can fill up the place for the whole month to be able to profit. I just want those like permanent tenants Anytime you rent out a property, a long-term rental, you hope to have tenants that are gonna stay for at least more than a year. You don't wanna flip the place every single year because you do lose a little bit of money depending on how much damage was done to the place. And if you screen your tenants properly, you will um, you'll get the best of the best, hopefully, so that when they do move out, you don't, um, you don't have to spend as much, right? And so for me, this property that I'm flipping now, which was my primary home, I had the tenants there for two years. We did have an incident where, um, and I told you guys this before, where they left the rice cooker on, it exploded, and it damaged a lot of the stuff in the kitchen, and there was smoke damage throughout the house. So 
that had to be fixed because their lease was not over and they still lived there but it needed to be fixed so again my insurance stepped in i stepped in and we fixed it while they were there so a lot of the painting was done a lot of the repairs were was done um right before they moved out so the property looked like it's in a pretty good shape um even though they're moving out so i i guess i feel blessed in that sense because i don't have to put a lot of the money up front a lot of the stuff was already done if that makes sense so um that is the reason it only looks like there's a little bit that needs to be done but like i said whenever you get tenants you pray to have tenants for more than a year so if you can have tenants for two three four five six seven years and i've seen properties like that when i was a renter um growing up we used to move in properties and stay there for years on end right we didn't just move every year oh this is busy right here let me we didn't just move every year it's really hard to move it's expensive you end up breaking things you lose things so sometimes people just want to find a great place and stay so that is my hope with um this property i hope that i can get a family in there that want to raise their kids the school district is one of the best i'm hoping for a family or a couple who are starting out and just want to settle down for a little bit that way i don't have to worry about always trying to find a new tenant so anyway i'm pulling into this um furniture not furniture i guess warehouse it's a warehouse liquidation place whatever i'm pulling up and i'm gonna go in there and see what they have i always like to park far away from everybody because yeah i don't want problems <laughs> so i don't mind walking distance as long as i feel like my car is safe so i was right it's actually called a liquidation center they have a lot of amazing stuff in here and i'm gonna show you that let's get in here oh all right there we go oh, look how cool this is so they have tubs this is nice they have all kinds of fanciness going on Wow, that's a jacuzzi tub. Oh, look at this. Kind of vintage, but cute. Look at this one. That's fancy right there. <laughs> Y'all know I like white, so I would go with one of the white ones, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, they just have all kinds of things in here, like when the store goes out of business, or like return stuff, just anything like that. They have it in here. Um, mirrors, toilets. This is a great place for if you're renovating a place. It's great for that. You can find a lot of things in here. Um, the store is pretty big and I'll show you guys a lot more of it. But let's go to this shower place. I might have to get someone to come help me to find it. But these are the shower doors. They have different kinds. All right, I think this is what we're looking for. I'm gonna go ask a friend to see if I can get somebody to help me back here because let me, let me actually get the measurement. I'm looking for the exact measurement so I can um, tell the guy up front so he can help me find it. Okay, 57, one and a half width times six height shower door. So I don't really know what that means. So I'm gonna go ask up front to see if they can help me. But these are just the panels. You need the hardware. You don't have any hardware for up here. You have to get that from like Home Depot. All right, family, so unfortunately, I couldn't get the shower door from the liquidation store. Even though I would have saved some money, I actually didn't find all of the parts that I needed, so I ended up coming back to Lowe's to actually get the shower door from here. Okay, so we are here to find that shower door. Here we are at Lowe's. They have multiple options to pick from, but the great thing is they have everything I need. I don't even have to think about it. All I need to do is to get the right size. <laughs> now let's go to the paint area to pick out our deck paint and our touch up paint for the rest of the house. So these are the deck colors. Um, I think this might be it or 
this yeah we'll do this one second baby some a sample just yeah cool. yeah something like that mm -hmm. that's the court yeah okay it's not the craft don't worry about it Oh, okay. Interior? Are you painting walls? Am I what? Painting walls, yeah. Here's the piece. Did I already give it to you? I got it. Oh, okay. So is that thing pretty close? Hmm? Does it get it pretty close to the color? Yep. That's good. Can you about to mix it up? Yep. Nice. Mommy. Yes, baby? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You want the color? Go go pick a color. Which color do you want? Pink. You want pink? You always want pink. <laughs> this pink? This one? Yes. This one? Yes. This one? Yes. You want all the pink color. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Wow, so many pink. I have a repeat customer in the Airbnb. Um, when I first opened up, he was one of my first guests. I think he was like the second guest, literally. He stayed for three days. And he liked the place so much that um, about two weeks ago, he had to come back to Columbus. And he actually booked the place for seven days this time. So he's in the Airbnb right now for seven days. And he is so cool. Like, this is an older guy. I think he's like a pastor. And he just sends me messages about everything, everything that happens. And he's like, he's, you can tell he's a good guy. He's friendly. And I love, love, number one, when my guests come back, that makes me feel like, you know, something about the place is nice and likable. That makes them want to come back. And number two, you just like, you secure another person who's not only going to come back, but they're going to refer you to other people. The thing with real estate, the real estate business, even for the agents, it's all word of mouth. So if I work with an agent, like a realtor, who did a great job for me, I can tell my friends and family if they need to buy a house. And that's really how they get, you know, their, their deals and stuff. So it's, it's really important to have a good relationship when it comes to these things because, like I said, it's all reviews and word of mouth. Um, so yeah, so I have that guest in the Airbnb. He's gonna be there for the next seven days So I don't have to worry about cleaners. I don't have to worry about flipping the place Flipping the place over for another guest. All right, so these are some of the things we're gonna need I just went to Home Depot and got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so this is going to be for the shower door um, He's gonna use that to I guess seal it. This is for the touch-up um we still have to change that. <laughs> but I did get the batteries for that. Anyway, this is gonna be for the touch-up paint, um, especially for the upstairs. This is the deck paint. We're gonna be painting the deck. As I told you guys, I tried to get a color that actually matches the, um, I'm trying to open this door. Um, yeah, I try to get a color that actually matches the siding. So this is all gonna be this color. And in case you can't really see it, this is a dark gray. It looks black, but it's a really, really pretty dark gray. And that is the color I got for the deck as well. So all of this is going to be one color. And it's finally going to match the actual, um, the actual house. I love this. I love that beautiful chandelier. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see. Look at that. How pretty is that? I got that from Wayfair. I don't have the link because it's been a while. When I first moved in here, it was a big fan. It was a huge fan. Um, and I changed it to a fandelier so we can have the light, the prettiness, and the fan. This one was an ugly old chandelier. And I also got that from Wayfair. I had my contractor, there we go. I had my contractor install it. It kind of looks like drops of water like a rainfall, it's really, really pretty. Um, so yeah. We also got the shower door. Hey, Missy. My contractor is gonna uh, be here tomorrow installing the shower door. And this is it right here. Let's turn the light on. This is the shower door. So we have to replace everything in here. Well, not everything. This whole piece is coming out. All of that is coming out. 
and this is going to be the new piece. Um, we don't want to change anything else. Like I said, I love the tile work. The flooring, still very nice. The tile, everything is still really nice. This is the only piece that's missing. Okay. Did I get the right thing? Mm -hmm. Did I get the right thing? You wouldn't check it out. <laughs> that's inside out. Let me make sure before I go. All right, family. So we have the shower door in and today is installation day. I was actually kind of nervous about this part because for some reason, I felt like I got the wrong thing. And I was also nervous that it cracked or broke. I don't know. I have anxiety now after <laughs> the broken shower door. So anyway, I'm grateful that um, my contractor and his partner actually said I got the right thing. So yes, I'm happy about this. And I'm learning a lot through this process as well as I like to tell you guys. I am learning so much about this house flipping thing. I know what to get now. I just need the measurements and I can go get the pieces. Anyway, the old pieces have been taken out. This is what they are. Um, these are the new pieces. They look so good. And um, <laughs> this is the actual shower. Um, the old glass has been taken out and this is what the frameless uh, shower looks like. I think it looks pretty cool, but <laughs> we do need the glass. So I guess we'll go ahead and install it. Um, but yeah, so this is just my contractors. They are actually cutting it into the right pieces and size so that they can go ahead and install it. Um, today is deck painting day. <laughs> My contractor did an amazing job painting this deck. I mean, look at this. This is so pretty and I did a great job choosing the color. If you look closely, it's not an exact match, but it is pretty darn close and I'm grateful and proud of myself for choosing this color. I couldn't peel off a piece of the house to take with me like I did with the inside, so I just had to guess and <laughs> I'm proud of my guess and my contractor did say that it's going to lighten up as time goes by, so that means it's going to match the house even better. All right, family, today is reveal day. This is what the house looks like. We still need to do some curb appeal work. We need to add some mulch. We need to cut the grass. We need to plant some flowers. But the house is in such a pretty good shape right now. It looks so pretty, y'all. It looks really, really good. It looks better in person, let me just say that. But anyway, let's get in here so I can give you all a tour of the newly touched up or I guess renovated house. All right, all of the trims were painted. The doors were put back on. As you can see, the doors are now back on. Um, yeah, the bathrooms never had any issues. So they're still good. Clean, good and clean. They're still very nice. And then, yeah, that thing still needs to be fixed. But yeah, all the trims were painted, all of them. The closet door, again, was put back on. The by four doors, they have been replaced and put back on. Let's go to the primary, which is where that glass um, shower door was broken. That is now fixed. The shower door is now fixed. And let me show you. You can now open it. You can actually open it from both sides, but the handle is inside from that end. But yeah, it has a rain head. I love, love these showers. It looks really good and everything else looks good. Let me turn off this light so we can go back downstairs. All of the trims were painted. Ooh. The handrails. So we have this gray up here, all of the bedrooms have it. It's gray and white up here, as you can see there. And then down here, it's like an off-white and white. 
with the hand rolls. All of these have been painted. That's Miss Nadia and my mom. They came to see the house. <laughs> um, again, everything looks nice and clean. We gotta change that thing. The island was also painted. It has some marks on it, but it's been painted. So clean, so beautiful. I love, love this little kitchen. So you can see. Um, the backyard, the deck was painted. It looks so nice now. Yeah, the railing on the deck was painted. The deck itself was painted. Matches the house so well. Let me show you here. It's summertime again. We have to get some grass people. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a cute little deck. Um, I just went with the same concept as my Airbnb and just painted the whole thing to match the house itself. <laughs> That's Miss Nadia. Hi, Hi baby. Mommy. Hi, baby. I'm Hi, baby. Mommy. Yes? Okay. I'm going to chase you. Yeah, go run. Go to grandma. Um, but yeah, that's the little uh, island. The kitchen. Um, back here, I think I forgot to show you all. No, I did show you guys, but the light was not on. But now it's on. So that's the laundry room. It's a pretty good sized laundry room. It has the washer dryer hookup. And then we have the half bath. Turn the light on. A cute little half bath. Regular, but cute. <laughs> it has a fancy design light going on there. Um, that's the garage. The door was painted. The door was ugly looking, but it was painted. And then again, the pantry doors have been fixed. This is another pantry door that has been fixed. Um, and now, that's the basement. Mm. That's the road that leads to the outside. Love, love these windows. I love your shoes, Nadia. I love those cute little shoes. <laughs> so family, before my last tenant moved out, I actually listed the property on the market for rent and I got a lot of potential um, tenants. Over 30 people have actually applied for the house, believe it or not. I actually priced it in a really, really great way so that I can be competitive. And with the housing market right now, there are a lot more um, potential renters than home buyers. So the market is very, very competitive right now. So as I said, I have a lot of potential tenants. I just need to do a few more things before I can officially um, start to pick my clients or renters and start showing the property so one of the things i have to do is the deep cleaning so stick around for that as well i'm gonna deep clean the property just so we're in perfect shape all right family so please stick around for that i cannot wait to share more of this journey with you all and if you like these kind of videos please comment your favorite part down below and also let me know what you want to see next all right thank you all again so so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you all in my next one bye let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you